Um, you know, I, I thought it was a really nice win. Um, we we really take some pride in um, how we compete against other teams in Illinois, and Bradley being the the closest Division One school as far as miles go. Um, I know that means a lot to our players. We recruit against them quite a bit, um, so it was a, it was a nice win, and uh, I thought our team played like. We want to play, you know, 19 assists on 12 turnovers. We force them into 18 turnovers. And I'll tell you something that's huge is even though we won the turnover battle by six, we still out-rebounded them by 17. And uh, that's really big for our program. So if we can continue to, to really give some people some trouble in that matchup zone. I told our kids afterwards, though, our zone defense is really good when we play it at a 10. When we drop to like a, an eight, it's not very good. And we've got to fly around and be scrappy and be all over the place. And you saw in the fourth quarter, you know, we let them put up 28 points that fourth quarter. I thought we got a little complacent. And uh, when, when we do that, it's not a very good defense. So I think that's a good lesson to learn. Coach, um, of your 45 rebounds, 23 were on the offensive side. And you guys really uh, were, were able to box out and, and get your misses and put them mm -hmm. right back up. Yeah, I mean, 23 offensive rebounds, that's, you know, that's off the charts. And uh, a big part of that is going after the ball. You know, I had a, it's funny, I had a real quick talk with Mally Boyle about just being more balanced um, when she goes after the ball and she goes from, you know, one or two rebounds to 12. And Mally's one of those kids, she sometimes tries so hard that she actually gets herself off balance, out of sync, out of the right spot on rebounding. And she can kind of channel that and use it to have better control and balance. And she's a really good rebounder. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, a lot of that's a lot of offensive boards. In fact, we got more offensive boards than they got defensive boards. Uh, Coach, um, both uh, Brackman and Marker were able to uh, attack the inside of your matchup zone. Is that um, is that something you uh, could be seen as a concern going forward? I mean, like you said, you guys when you play at your ten, it's good, but when you guys rock it down like an eight or a seven, it's not that good. And, yeah, it is a concern. Um, and honestly, I thought both Marker and Brackman were, I don't know if I, they were a little better than I expected, but I, I do think they uh, they had a really good game, you know, maybe at least better than they looked on film. And uh, we didn't have a really good plan to keep it out of there because we've been able to neutralize a lot of posts by not letting it in there. And uh, they did a pretty good job of kind of isolating those. They were lobbing over the top, and we were just a half second late on our help defense, so that turned a, a steal into an and one for them. Uh, but those girls played well, and we're going to have to kind of work on that because, you know, that's one of the reasons we're wanting to play that zone is to neutralize some big players, and we did not do a good job of it today. Yeah, I was just curious. You got four minutes left in the fourth quarter. They cut the lead to eight. What did you tell your guys in the huddle right there before the play? Well, first thing I told them is, you know, we let them back in there by just kind of doing some bonehead things. And, you know, one hard thing, and I'm different than most coaches, when we play with the lead, we try to stay fairly aggressive. And so I can't give my players too much trouble because they're kind of doing what I want them to do. But um, what we need to work on is just being a touch smarter, you know, making that – shooting that three in someone's eye at, at 14 seconds instead of 30 seconds. And I thought we did like four or five kind of bonehead things that are right down the stretch, and it went from 16 to 8 really fast. And so that's something we got to learn from. We've got to learn to play with the lead, but at the same time, we've got to be aggressive. We might, even when we were up eight, you know, Morgan Bloomer attacked the basket, got a layup. We got an and one. We're still attacking the basket. We're still knocking down shots. It's just kind of when you do it and understanding the risk-reward of that play. It feels good to be back home after a four-game road trip. It does. I think my wife and kids are glad that uh, that we have some home games here. So uh, it was a successful, you know, six out of seven road games. But it is good to be back in Western Hall. I thought we had a good group of some high school kids and, and community members. Um, as you transition here into Graceland and Eastern to finish uh, to finish up this home stretch, um, what are some things you guys need to take away from this game as uh, big improvements? You said um, keeping your keeping the post players up from. Uh, from getting the ball with your matchup zone, but what else do you feel like you need to improve? Yeah, I think that's a big one. And then just keeping that intensity on defense. I mean, keeping us out of 10. And then offensively, you know, continuing to play with that aggressive to share the ball. You know, I thought we started off really great in transition. We kind of cooled it there a little bit, and we're a good transition team. So we want to make sure we're picking that back up. Um, but I would say, like you mentioned, figuring out the post situation and then keeping our intensity high regardless of the score. Uh, real quick, though, just on Emily Clemens, nine straight games double figure. She's just been arguably one of the better players to start off um, in the conference. And, you know, is this at all surprising to you of how well she started? Or is this kind of what you figured she would be like 
Um, I think it's, I wouldn't say it's surprising. Yes, I'm definitely impressed with her, but I knew she could be that type of player. I mean, she had a great year last year, but um, I think just with the opportunities that she had with us graduating, Michelle Maher and Sophie Reichelt, you know, Emily was the kid that was going to, she was just going to ha have the ball in her hand a lot more. She's going to be the person that can make things happen a lot more. She's an efficient player and she creates things for other players. You know, she's not just scorer. She's one of the national leaders in assists. So um, she's been a really, really good player and fits our style perfectly. So I'm, I'm excited to have her for this year and next.